IMO Class 5 Set C Mathematical Reasoning Mathematical Reasoning Question number 16 Which of the following figures do not have any pair of perpendicular lines? A has perpendicular lines B also has perpendicular lines D has perpendicular lines But C does not have perpendicular lines So C is the correct option Mathematical Reasoning Question number 17 which of the following will be the greatest if each number is rounded off to the nearest thousands? Rounding of every number, we can see that the C option is greater. Question number 18. If x which is equal to 45.79 into 5, then find the sum of place values of digits at hundredths place and tenths place in the number x. If we multiply 45.79 into 5 to get the value of x, we will get 228.95. The sum of the place values of digits at hundredths place and tenths place is equal to 200.9. Mathematical reasoning question number 19. Which of the following has maximum perimeter? First one, a square of side 15 centimeter each. Perimeter of the square with side 15 cm is 60 cm. Second one, a equilateral triangle of side 16 cm each. Perimeter of equilateral triangle of 16 cm is equal to 48 cm. A rectangle of length 20 cm and breadth 15 cm. Perimeter of the rectangle with length 20 cm and breadth 15 cm is equal to 70 cm. As we can see, the third option has more perimeter. Mathematical reasoning question number 20. Which of the following squares must be unshaded so that the given figure has at least one line of symmetry? As we can see, in this, we need to unshade S, Q and R. In this, we have to unshade P. In this, even if we unshade, there is no symmetry. Squares must be unshaded so that the figure has at least one line of symmetry is P. Mathematical reasoning question number 21. The given line graph shows the number of people who vis visited the Taj Mahal in the given six months of the year. Study the given graph carefully and answer the following questions. In which of the following months the maximum number of people visited Taj Mahal? Number of people visited in September is equal to 2000, May 2750, August 4000 and July 3000. As we can see, August has the maximum number of people. Find the fraction of number of people visited the Taj Mahal in April to the number of people who visited in May and September together. May and September together, we will get 4750. And people visited in April is equal to 2,500. So, fraction of number of people visited the Taj Mahal in April to the number of people visited in May and September is equal to 2,500 by 4,750, which is equal to 10 by 19. Question number 23. How many pairs of intersecting lines are there in the given figure? We can form a tabular column to find this. If we find, we can see that there are more than 8 intersecting lines. Mathematical reasoning question number 24. Find the area of the shaded region in the given figure, not drawn to scale. Area of shaded region is equal to 4 full squares and 10 half squares, which is equal to 9 full squares. Area of shaded region is equal to 9 into 4 into 4, which is equal to 144 square centimeter. Mathematical reasoning question number 25. The given figure shows two pencils. What is the difference between the lengths of both pencils? As you can see, both the pencils start at the same measurement. So, using this, we can first find the end point of one pencil, end point of another pencil and subtract those two. If we do that, we'll get 2 cm as the difference. Mathematical reasoning question number 26. Sumit drove from Chandigarh to Delhi as per the time shown in the clocks. For how long did he drive? Time he left Chandigarh is equal to 10 hours 10 minutes. 
Time he arrived in Delhi is equal to three hours forty five minutes. Time he drove is equal to time between he left Chandigarh and time he arrived Delhi. Until twelve o'clock, his driving time is equal to twelve hours minus ten hour ten minutes, which is equal to one hour fifty minutes. After twelve o'clock, his driving time is three hours forty five minutes. So total driving time is equal to adding both these. If we add, we'll get five hours thirty five minutes. Mathematical reasoning question number twenty seven. The sum of the numbers of numbers given on the two abacuses is the sum of the numbers given on the two abacus is is three lakh sixty four thousand four hundred and sixty five. Mathematical reasoning question number twenty eight. Find the difference between the sum of the fifth multiple of fifteen and third multiple of twenty, and the sum of factors of thirty six. Sum of fifth multiple of fifteen and third multiple of twenty is equal to one hundred and thirty five. Sum of factors of thirty six is equal to ninety one. Difference between them is is equal to forty four. Mathematical reasoning question number twenty nine. Add five hundredths, ninety ones, five tenths, two hundredths, four uh, and forty ones, two tenths, three hundredths, and then subtract nine tenths, four hundredths from the result obtained. Five hundredths, ninety ones, five tenths, two hundredths is equal to five hundred ninety point five two. Similarly. Forty ones two tenths three hundreds is equal to forty point two three. Nine tenths four hundreds is equal to zero point nine four. So adding and subtracting, we will get six hundred twenty nine point eight one. Mathematical reasoning question number thirty. Find the estimated sum of these two numbers by rounding off each number to the nearest hundreds. First, we should round off, and then we should add. If we do that. We will get thirteen lakh sixteen thousand two hundred. Mathematical reasoning question number thirty one. Which of the following option gives the greatest value? Greatest value is option B. Mathematical reasoning question number thirty two. Which of the following numbers has no line of symmetry? As you can see here, the B option seven has no line of symmetry. Mathematical reasoning question number thirty-three: If A block divided by B block is equal to sixteen kg, B block plus B block plus B block plus B block is equal to twenty kg, then find the weight of A block minus B block. A divided by B, which is equal to sixteen kg, that is equation one. B plus B plus B plus B, which is equal to twenty kg. So four B is equal to twenty kg. Using this, we can find the value of B, which is equal to five kg. Substituting the value of B in equation one, we get A divided by five, which is equal to sixteen kg. So A is equal to sixteen into five, which is equal to eighty kg. A minus B is equal to seventy five kg. Mathematical reasoning question number thirty four. What must be added to two two by five to give three three by ten? Improper fraction of two two by five is twelve by five. The improper fraction of three three by ten is equal to thirty three by ten. Let n be the number to be added to two two by five to give three three by ten. Then we get twelve by five plus n, which is equal to thirty three by ten. N is equal to thirty three by ten minus twelve by five, which is equal to nine by ten. Mathematical reasoning question number thirty five. Which of the following shows the common factors of twenty one and twenty four? The common factors of twenty one and twenty four are one and three. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on post notifications so that you guys don't miss out on a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.